Well, this is timely tips to help stretch your money. Financial planner Renee Rabello has five of them for us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. So this year, this type of uh, time of year is is very difficult, right? Because um, you know there's there's extra expenses, and and a lot of people just want to spend whatever it takes to to make themselves feel good and make their their gift recipients feel good. Right. And um, one of the biggest things is just making sure that you stick with a really good spending budget, you know, set an amount for each person and make sure you stick to it. Because with um, the way that interest rates have gone, with the way the market has been the last year, you know, people are really going to feel that come January when they're looking at their cash flow and they're realizing like even seniors who are retired, you know, their RIF payments are going to go down because their market values at the end of the year are going to be less than last year. And so they're going to notice that in their, their cash flow also. So this is something that everyone needs to be a little bit more cognizant about is what they're spending on. And um, so one of the tips that I have is, you know, just be aware of your cash. So, you know, get a tracking app or use cash, like go back to cash and, um, you know, do your homework online with prices. It's so easy to do nowadays. You just put it in and your phone will tell you where the cheapest price is for that item that you might be looking for for that special someone. Um, okay. Any other tips? Yeah. So in, you know, consolidate, definitely look at consolidation. You know, you've got a bunch of different credit type of uh, credit cards, line of credits. Definitely look at consolidating. That'll help reduce the amount of interest that you pay. It'll also free up cash flow. And it might give you one month's free with no payment because they'll say, oh, the payment is next month. So that gives you a nice option. If you're looking at traveling over the holidays, right now the, the dollar uh, is not very good and you know especially if you're tr uh, converting it to US currency so I suggest that they go into their friendly banker and look at getting a US currency credit card so that's tip number three uh, look at a US currency credit card for any kind of traveling that way what happens is when you charge it it's in the same currency and when the dollar comes back then you're able to go in and pay it off and you're not paying the extreme currency rates right now um, another thing that people can do is review their insurance. So when I'm not just talking about home and auto insurance, I'm talking also about, you know, your, your uh, life insurance and your disability and your critical illness. Might be time to do an overhaul on that and take a peek at what you're paying for and what kind of coverage you have. Because I've sat with a lot of clients lately and we've saved them over hundreds of dollars a month just looking at the type of coverage they have. Because what they bought 10 years ago or 15 years ago may not be the type of coverage that they need today. So that's another tip that... Um, you can utilize for the holidays. And the last one is really just go through your closets and sell things online. You know, get these things out of your cupboards. So not only are you cleaning out your cupboards, but you're generating a little bit of extra spending cash for the holidays that'll help you just put a little bit more into your pocket. Mm -hmm. and, and even when you're we're going back to your first one about uh, making up a budget, thinking about things like food is so much more expensive, right? So that gobbles up some of that cash that you would otherwise have for, say, entertaining or gifts. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and that's where meal planning really comes into play. You know, really plan out your week on where you're going to be, you know, how is that going to fit into your um, your week of your schedule for your kids, your work, because kids have hockey and all kinds of things. Um, you know, retirees like to go out to, to dine, maybe have a drink before you go or um, you know, skip the drink at the meal and have it when you get home. You know, there's things you yeah. can do. Also, you know, look at your credit cards. You might have um, cash available or spend your points on getting gift cards and start using those for grocery gift cards too because there's lots of things where you can find money. Yes. Okay. All good tips. Thanks very much and Merry Christmas to you, Renee. Merry Christmas to you too.